Let's go. Dark Industry Arise, Simple Surfer. What is that? Battle Galactus? What? Discover new powers. He had like a storm ability. Okay. She Hulk. Thor with the. Wow, they showing off the um, outfits. And they fighting in the background. That is crazy. That is crazy. Okay, let's go. We can start these week off challenges. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Friend, and welcome back to another Fortnite video. Today, the week three challenges have gone live. Today, in the video, I'm going to complete all of them, showing you guys how to do it, the best strategies to complete each one. We got a lot of things to actually go over. First thing first, though, obviously, we want that Rural Rain skin. Let's do the Rural Rain challenge first. Now, this week, we actually have to go over to Dirty Docks to find the Sentinel Head back bling. It looks so dope. I can't wait to actually go and grab it and use it. Um, maybe not with this skin, but uh, let's go and pick it up. I know exactly where it's at. I'm going to show you guys right now. Okay, so the place we want to go is Dirty Docks. It's like over here here i want to say it's like the edge of dirty docks off to the right of the poi oh we got a couple of people who land in here okay let's see it's contested you got a lot of people trying to complete this challenge today i'm gonna see if i can land on this gun on this balcony what is it a pistol oh they are fighting they are like all right we'll grab it and it's down here Voila. Add up, actually. Now that we unlock the Wolverine Sentinel Black Bling, it looks dope. But, however, there is an extra style that you can get for the Sentinel Head. And that's the style. Um, let's see if they show it in here. Yes, with the eye on, with it like making like this sound and stuff like that. In order to unlock this style, you gotta go over to the Sentinel with no head inside of the game. I'm gonna do that and show you exactly where it's at. Let's jump in the game to unlock this extra style, this extra secret style for the Sentinel back bling. Again, you need to have it with you. So let's jump in the game, roll out with the Sentinel black bling. So the Sentinel head, well, the Sentinel graveyard is here here and the one without the head i believe it's this one i could be wrong but i believe it's this one um and then we got a perfect drop for it too i tried to pick a cool outfit to go with sentinel head best thing i could have thought of was sky for whatever reason you don't know what sentinel head is at look around it's next to lazy leg next to authority The one without a head, yeah, that, that is definitely the one without a head. So we got this guy, got a head, I believe, yep, head, 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 no head. And he's actually, like, looking for it, which is pretty cool. So, you got to have it on your back, and all you got to do is just land. You don't have to land here, you just got to just come to the spot, and it should turn on to the secret style. So, when you land a height here, there you go. And look, it turns on. The how that is actually pretty cool. See, you found a secret style, as you can see. Bow, boom. This one is straight down the middle. This um, drop, but it's perfect because we can go straight over the steamy stacks and search for a chest. This week's challenge, self-explanatory. And what I love about the challenges itself is that you don't really need to do it in one shot, one take. You could do it as you play. You could just keep landing here repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly until you get the challenge complete. And again, all you need to do is, is get the get as much chest as possible. Let's see if we can pop in here. So we get that. First. Can pop that shield too. Grab this boy. Perfect. Got a shoddy. Big boy chest. I hear it. Okay. That's three. I'm kind of not worried about the storm. 
because I just want to complete the challenge. What I do want is to have health. A kits. You do want to keep medical packs, band aids, anything clever to survive in the storm. You know what I'm saying? I like coming here. You can jump up. Get like a reset of the area. Yeah, let's go to this building. I'll take the XP for opening those. Oh, there we go. Oh, another one and a pump. I'll definitely take that. You could do this in any type of game. I prefer to do them in 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 singles and not in team rumbles. I feel like the storm goes really really faster in team rumbles. So sometimes you don't get a chance to just loot up and you know take your time with it, especially on something like getting all the, getting a number of chests in one area. Hey, is it down there? Yeah. Okay, now I just need one more and I'll be out of here. Sounds like there's a a coin. Oh, there it goes. Give me, give me the coin. There we go. Definitely take that coin. Oh, I hear it. Oh, sounds like it's directly below me. There it is. Let's break this wall. Perfect. There we go. And that's seven on seven. Oh, I see a car. Buddy, what what was you thinking? Oh, whoa, whoa, no. Okay. Oh, okay, box me. Whoa, buddy, 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 who do you think you're fighting? Oh my god, okay. I don't know what he did. What was that? I don't know. He had me. <laughs> oh, motherfucking box fight in sweat. Fuck out of here. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. What? 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 What the fuck is that? Buddy. Oh! Pump! Don't fail me now! Woo! What? Pump is better. Pump is better. Pump is better. <laughs> Pump is better than the charge. Sorry. Oh my god, I got 99. Oh. Oh, that was a... Was it? Was that a bot? 
the next challenge we're gonna jump and do is the Black Panther challenge. That's basically just landing at Panther statue. It's right here next to Misty Meadows. Can't miss it. It's the the gray on the map right here. Just drop down. I'm probably because I'm not gonna be the first one there. I'm proud, and this is a challenge. A lot of people are gonna be here. I'm probably gonna die off spawn, but let's see how it goes. And this is a beautiful POI. Really, really dope. I really love that they did this. This is pretty cool. Can I open it? I dig it. Not mad. Oh, I like your black bling. But well, I'm not mad. Okay, now the next challenge we are actually gonna do is collect wood from Weeping Woods. Now, very easy, straightforward. All you gotta do is just literally collect wood. And it being the woods and all, there's a lot of trees. So that means there's a lot of wood. You don't, there's no real strategy or best way to do this. All you need to do is just land here and collect the wood. Boom. 500. Another one we have to do is fire traps. Um, and that's use fire traps. You can do this literally in any game at any time. All you gotta do is just, when you pick up a fire trap, my recommendation is just to be place it, place it right away. Even if you're not in a battle or not about to use it, just place it. It makes no sense to not do it until you get the challenge done. Bye bye, buddy. Trying to storm watch me. Oh my god! And you gotta. A fire trap, buddy. Boom. Two and three. Thank you for that. Ooh. Woo! You is tight, boy. You is tight. The mission we're gonna try to pull off is the eliminations at Retail Row. Retail Row is right here on the map, if you haven't noticed. Let's go. Need to get three kills at Retail Row this week. Doesn't need to be this week, and it doesn't need to be in one match. Do note that. I'm not a huge person to land at Retail Row. I don't know what's the best spot. At, to be honest, I usually do this campsite, especially if I see a gun here, which I do. What is it? Is it a, it looks like a, um, a burst. I could take it. And it does look like, but we got a chest here too. So I'm good. Shoddy and a pump. Okay, we kind of kid it. We are kind of kid it. Let's see if we can get, kind of get some kills. up let's grab these whoops whoopsie so that was one whoop go Another one. Oh my 
god. Whoa, you glitching, buddy. Gotcha. Three out of three. Okay, so the next one we're going to go after is using gas canisters and inflicting damage on your opponents. Now, opponents could be the robots or NPCs inside of the Fortnite game like Iron Man or anybody. What we're going to do is we're going to go to this little gas station right here. As you can see, it's right in front of um, Stark Industries, right next to the Green Bridge. What else? The, the lake. We got the fake tilted over there. You know what I'm saying? You want to land here at this gas station right here. I'm going to show you where it's at exactly on the map, but like right, right. Can I zoom in? Yeah, I can zoom in. Right there. Boom. All right. Once you get there, you want to land right here. And I'm going to show you why in a second because it is pretty it's pretty cool. As you can hear, you can hear the, the shadow. You can hear the, the ghost guy. And there's not a lot of people coming here too, so that's perfect. But you hear two henchmen, basically, talking, having a convo. And as you can, as you can see... They are literally dancing and doing dances. Oh, I heard footsteps. Oh no, that was that was him. He's doing his dance. <laughs> so they're here dancing, emoting, chilling, vibing. So what you want to do, and you might have guessed it, because they're not gonna hit. You, they're not gonna attack you at all, unless you ask to, unless you bump into them or literally shoot them. They're not gonna start shooting you at all. So what you want to do is head over. Here, boom, perfect. Get a gas canister. And you already probably know what this is heading. And then we want to throw it. You want to throw it. Throw it, you're going to have to hold um, the throw button. I'm going to try to throw it in the middle if I can. Perfect. Let me see if I can grab another one before I can. They're usually over here by the gas station, right? Just in case somebody else comes. And then you are going to need to shoot it. So there's one right there. I'm going to throw the next one like on this side next to it. Boom, perfect. So, and then you want to step back. And then shoot those gas canisters. Boom. You got both of them dead. And that will count as inflicting damages on your opponents. As you can see, I got it. And that is an easy way, again, to get it complete without actually inflicting damage fighting opponents being in weird situations whatever this is an easy way to get it done all right now one of the week three challenges is eliminate iron man at stark industries stark industries obviously the big brand new poi but boy is it a hot drop it says requires four players basically enabling you to do this as well in team battle games or in quads or in duos Anybody that you are in a party or in the team with will eliminate Iron Man, will give you the elimination and count towards your the goal. You have to eliminate Iron Man how many times? I, three times. And my God, it's not an easy feat. Especially with everybody and their mom dropping here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yep, yep uh, there it is. There, there he is. Come on, go down! Oh, I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. Let's see if I can grab something. Oh. See? It's not easy. But this is how you complete the Eliminate Iron Man challenge. I got a pump. Let's go. Someone got Iron Man, no? Sounds like it. There we go! Bye bye! Can I get the kill though? 
Here we go. Okay, so the next challenge we're gonna do is actually not really a challenge. It's not on the week three list of challenges, if that makes any sense. But if you go to the spot and you also go to, like, I would say the billboards advertising this spot, you get a ton of XP. So we're gonna go there, land there, check out the spot, as well as check out the other spots that you can go to to basically get more XP for this same mission. It's similar to what we had last season when you had to help that like that group, that tribe of those like squishy things basically built up an army and stuff like that and they end up building a nuke and basically blowing themselves up kind of. It's kind of in that same vein. This time is not with those guys, it's with the gomes, right? The gomes? The gomes. Am I saying that right? The goal. Basically, you want to head down here where there is like a, I want to say like a show, like a magic show almost going on. Is there anybody else with me? No. Good. I'm alone. I'm doing this in a singles, a solo. So I'm just making sure I don't get attacked, but you can do this in anything. I'm pretty sure I've seen Rumble. This is fine too. So you just walk up to this place and there you go. And this, this guy is kind of unique. Whoa. He explodes. Cool. But he's kind of unique to this scene right here. And... Oh, they're, they're, this is this is creepy. I'm out of here. Basically, there's also signs around the map that's advertising this show. And if you go to them, they actually give you more XP. So let's head over to one of those signs now. That I know for certain that is here is at this spot right here. You could just use what I use the uh, Rift if it's still there at the Black Panther POI. You could come here by the logs and there is a sign up here. I'm gonna go here. Hopefully I don't get shot. I don't have any weapons, but yep, yeah, boom. You go here and you get even more XP. Only one sign will give you the XP, as well as only one of the. Oh my god, Bloom Battle for real. So Bloom Battle, uh oh, I'm dead. Let's grab that. Let's see if I'm lucky enough to pop it. But it looks like only one of those signs get you, oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah, he got me. Woo, he don't got me. He don't got me, get off me, boy. So it looks like only one of those signs allow you to get the extra XP and then going to the event gives you XP alone. So that's pretty cool. Okay guys, that's gonna be the end for this week's challenges. Let me know in the comment section below if you're having any troubles completing all of these or any more tips to help somebody complete these challenges. Let's have that conversation in the comment section below. If you're new around here, I answer all comments. So again, let's meet in the comment section. Let's talk about these week's challenges. How y'all guys are feeling them. I think they were pretty cool. I think they were pretty easy to tackle. Some of them do take a lot of time. Like the Iron Man one is gonna be a, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna break me to try to complete that one, but I will try to do it. Thank God it came out in week three because that gives us ample amount of time throughout the whole season to actually try to complete that one. But again, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the vibes. I do videos like this every day, doing guides on games, including Fortnite, Pokemon, Crash, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, Avengers, everything. I do it all here on the channel, pretty much anything. Any game I'm feeling that I'm playing that I wanna do guys for, I do it here. So again, if you're feeling the vibes, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button if you learned anything today or you enjoy the video at any point. Hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend it so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.